Hey guys, this is a video for double kettlebell clusters. As you saw there, you can perform this from dead stop or from the hang. Uh, what I'm gonna say here applies to both. Uh, dumbbell clusters are an awesome conditioning exercise. As you can see, I am pretty hard. And I only did like three reps. Anyhow, so, things that we want to see. Don't, usually with kettlebells, this principle applies. Don't let the name clean, snatch, whatever, in this case, cluster or clean, uh, squat clean, uh, bring in, uh, in your head uh, the technique cues, the technique purposes, the movement of the barbell. Uh, why do I say that? Because the most important thing here is that you can think of the cluster as a clean followed by a thruster. There's no need to like throw the bells come under that those bells really fast, right? Like it can be a, a segmented movement. What I mean is it can be like I come here, clean, squat, and thrust up, right? And I can do that repetitively. Uh, why do we say why do I say that? Because when you're doing the the kettlebell clean, I want you to be fully uh, uh, extended instead of trying to rush under the squat. And I want you to try to receive those bells with grace so that you're not hitting yourself. And so that the most important thing here happens, which is when I'm, when I'm here, I want to come down as vertical as I can. So that when I extend here, I can really come up vertically and throw those bells up. Remember that the kettlebell clean is a swing movement. So it's mostly a horizontal movement, right? It's a swing in which I keep the elbow in, shoot my arm fast so that the bell lands nicely and smooth on my, on my arm and chest. Uh, but it's essentially a hinging, swinging movement that is throwing the bells horizontally. So if I rush, into the squat part of the cluster, uh, I'm, I'm going to be off balance. And so the weight is going to be probably forward and when I come up, it's all over the place. So think of it as like clean followed by a squat, followed by a, uh, by a, followed by a thruster really, right? Like or followed by a squat, followed by a push press if you want to uh, uh, divide it like that. But that's going to be pretty much the mechanics here. Uh, when do you use uh, dead stop or singles? coming from the ground and where do you uh, choose cycling depends on what the workout you're working on and depends on the purpose of that workout and the intensities and, and uh, goals that you're trying to get so completely up to, to, to the stimulus that you're looking for both are awesome uh, from the ground of course it's a little bit more of work per rep uh, and it adds a little bit of complexity uh, but you know like both variations are excellent um, again as I said the only thing that you want to worry is nice clean receive it's totally fine, even if you want to pause, pause for a second and then do the thruster. Uh, as you get the reps, you become more fluid. But there's no need, like the objective is not that fluidity. The objective is to uh, uh, find a good clean, then a very vertical squat so that you can really throw those bells up with your legs, right? And so, uh, that is it. Give it a try. Uh, double kettlebell thrusters. Uh, Awesome.